We all tell ourselves stories. Our stories help us navigate life when we're not sure what to do. But are you telling yourself the full story? Are your stories serving you? And are there places in your life right now where you're using stories to cover up your true feelings rather than being honest with yourself? If you want to live a life of true fulfillment and happiness, then learning to be honest with yourself and committing to discovering, living and talking your truth is what you need to do. So in today's card poll, I'm asking the question, how can I be more honest with myself? Let me know in the comments if any of the messages in the cards resonate for you today. Hi, it's Kathy here. Welcome to my channel. I make videos on transformation, abundance and spirituality and how we can make life easier and more enjoyable by looking at it through the lens of tarot. So if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe so you get the latest content. So first of all, what might be the signs that you need to be more honest with yourself? These might be self-sabotage, saying one thing and doing the opposite. Um, you might be find you procrastinating a lot you keep putting things off maybe you're complaining but you don't take action to change things maybe you're getting defensive uh, when someone gives you feedback that you don't like or don't want to hear uh, or, or you struggle with criticism because truth hurts and part of you knows it's true um, perhaps you're not being productive you're busy being busy but you're not accomplishing the things that you're actually proud of Maybe you're feeling bored, like you're filling your life with distractions because you're not following your true passions and interests. Maybe you're blaming your problems on the world outside of you, like it's somebody else's fault, rather than taking responsibility for your life and being accountable for the things that happen. You might be feeling that you're in the wrong job, the wrong relationship, the wrong, you're with the wrong crowd, but you don't want to admit it to yourself for some reason. Maybe you're feeling like you're settled for life as it is and you've let your dreams slide. Or maybe you're feeling afraid to really live it and go for your dreams in case you fail or you're disappointed or you're, you, you lose face, you're embarrassed or you lose what you've already got. So if you recognize any of these signs in your own life, maybe the messages in the cards today can help you. So you might like to choose one card intuitively or fill into the messages from all the cards to see what resonates. And as I talk through the three cards, um, I'll be asking questions about what might feel true for you. So tune into your body and notice if something lands. If you feel uncomfortable about anything or if you have a question mark about something, pay attention to that. Be curious and open about what that might mean. You know, feeling your true feelings is where self-honesty starts and positive transformation then follows. So card number one is the Three of Cups. So this card is about celebration and friendship. It's about abundance that you can feel joyful about and that you want to share with others, that it's about happy gatherings and success in various aspects of life that make you feel good. The suit of cups is about feelings and emotions. So if this theme of friendship and gathering together and sharing and celebrating is relevant in some way to your life right now, Pay attention to your inner responses as I ask some of these questions and just remember you're feeling for what feels true for you. So are you excited about your friendships and getting together with others right now? Uh, is that something that you're really seeking? Is that something that's a, a high value to you? Uh, is that something that you're feeling that you're missing or that you're scared to go for in some way? Is there a group that's welcoming you with open arms or are you standing on the outside of it, kind of looking in and, and wanting to approach? But again, something's holding you back from joining. Would you really like to have more loving connection in your, in your life? Perhaps you're being invited to collaborate on something. So how do you really feel about that? To, to join either another person or a group to create something together? Uh, do you feel that you would fit in and be a really good uh, team member or are you letting self-doubts and fears and other limiting beliefs kind of getting in the way of what could be a really good opportunity? If you were really honest about your strengths and your gifts and what you're passionate about and your talent, 
would that bring you closer to having that group connection and collaboration that you're longing for? Or does having the spotlight on you actually make you feel uh, self-conscious and make you pull back from the spotlight? This card could also be saying that you're getting a bit lost in the energy of the group. So maybe you're losing sight of what you truly want for yourself because the emotional connection with a group that you're part of already is so intense that it's just difficult to break away and carve a new path. Um, perhaps you're letting your emotions lead and you're letting the group dynamic influence you without looking at the bigger picture of what you actually want for your life. Um, do you really feel like celebrating with others or are you just going along with something because you're part of a group? Perhaps you're not really that interested. So what what's true in that for you? The second card is the world card. And, and the, uh, the general meaning of this card is uh, having the world at your feet. It's about completion and it's about successfully stepping out of one level and up and through into the next. Um, this could be about a new world opening up for you, literally as in travel, or it could be figuratively as in new opportunities and successes are available to you. And it represents having been through lots of trials and tribulations and learning lessons and enduring hardships along the way and you've been on this journey and now it's time for you to reap the rewards for all the effort that you've put in. So the world card in tarot is thought to be a really positive, uplifting card with not much in the way of negative connotations. So in terms of self-honesty, maybe this card is asking you to look at yourself in a better light, you know, than, than you have been doing. Perhaps it's asking you to see how amazing you actually are. So where are you not acknowledging all the hard work that you've put into something or the endurances that you've navigated to now be at a place where you really deserve to experience the fruits of your labor? Are you someone perhaps that uh, forgets to pause and reflect on how far you've come and to celebrate your accomplishments? Before you dive into the next thing or, or are you currently like just finish one thing, focus on the next and, and the next and the next and actually not really look at, wow, I've done really well and to take on board that kind of like self-appraisal and see that you're doing so well. Is that something that you need to do? Do you feel worthy and deserving of receiving success and opportunities and good stuff after all that you've been through or is something blocking you from uh, allowing yourself to do that? Another thing about the world being like a completion is that after a completion is a new beginning. And so often we have a lot of fear around new beginnings. So are you putting off completing something because you're afraid of what might come next or, or not knowing what might come next? It also represents going out in the world with your gifts and your expertise after having learned so much along the way. So are you holding yourself back from doing that and from sharing your valuable knowledge and experience? And if so, why might that be? So another thing that might be relevant for you is wondering if your long held dreams will ever come to fruition. So if you're currently doubting that your dream is meant for you, especially if you've worked really hard to make it happen, the invitation here is to feel into whether you're still excited to manifest it. Do your dreams still feel true for you? And if so, you must keep them alive and move forward with confidence because they might just be like within a hair's breadth of where you are now. So don't give up. And one final bit of guidance that the world card might have for you is if you're currently in a position of getting what you've always wanted, uh, but the journey getting there was a struggle that you just got used to, that became part of who you are, you may feel some anxiety now about being in an unfamiliar place of success. And it's in that place of success that feels a bit strange that we can often sabotage ourselves because part of us is afraid of the unknown and the unfamiliar. So just be mindful of that and remind yourself that you deserve all the good that's come to you because you've worked so hard for it. So that's the second card. And the last card 
card number three is the Knight of Wands. And the general meaning of the Knight of Wands is about energy, enthusiasm, creative fire. He can be a bit hasty. He's adventurous. He's warm. He's charming and charismatic, self-confident. He has a lot of courage and bravery. So he, he takes a lot of risks and he's a real free spirit. So the Knight of Wands often means that things are going better for you than you'd expected, uh, that you have the solution to some kind of problem and that you should be feeling really enthusiastic and energized towards whatever endeavor that you are focusing on or wish to create. So again, it's a really nice card. Uh, so this is a card of going for it, of putting plans into action and getting things done. And in terms of uh, being honest with yourself, it could be asking you if you're ready to go for it. You know, do you have the courage and self-belief that you need? Is anything standing in your way of or needing attention before you can get going? Do you need to be more bold, more spontaneous? Uh, do you need to develop your confidence? Do you, do you need to be more fearless and self-assured in regards to your projects and what you want to create in the world? If anything is lacking or you have fears, then taking the steps to build your confidence and to create a proper plan of attack while your inspiration is still high, that's really going to help you succeed. As this card speaks of someone with a free spirit, if that's you, are you being true to yourself and giving yourself that freedom and adventure that your soul needs to really feel expressed, to feel fulfilled and happy? If the Knight of Wands represents someone else in your life, how does being around their free spirit feel to you? How does it impact you? Do you let them be who they are? Who they are, Or does it make you feel uncomfortable and make you want to try and control them in some way? And if someone has entered your life with the fiery, charismatic qualities of the knight, the knight of Wands, you could very well be swept off your feet because they have a flair for saying exactly the right thing at the right time. So just be sure of their intentions or you might find yourself being seduced into a short term thing uh, before they leave and move on to new pastures. And finally, another question that could be to do with relationships, work or any other uh, area of life um, could be where are you being too hasty? Because like I mentioned before, the Knight of Wands acts really hastily. So he could be giving a message to pause, to take a moment to reflect, to see how things are truly going rather than just blindly rushing on ahead. So take the time to think things through and see what's really true or do the research needed. Um, and if you do have a plan, stick to the plan. So I hope today's guidance from the cards was useful for you. Do leave me a comment below if something resonated. And thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to dive deeper with a personal one-to-one -one tarot coaching session or program of support that will help you access your own higher guidance and to bring clarity to any area of your life, then check out the links in the description. And if you like doing your own readings, but your mind goes blank trying to think of what to ask, Having some prompts at hand can really help. So check out my guide, 111 questions for tarot, oracle cards and journal prompts. Asking the right questions can really unlock a trove of insight and knowledge from your unconscious mind and higher self that will help you to make powerful decisions and action steps aligned with your best life. So the link again for that is in the description. So that's it from me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next time.